What up guys, Spartan85 here. Today we are playing a game called Fear the Moon. It is going to release on May 7th on Steam. I don't know a price. That's the planned release date. It's made by Johnny's Games. The chapter one is available right now for free. So kind of like the demo is available on itch.io. So you can, if you want to play the demo, that's what we're going to be playing today is kind of the demo or chapter one. I don't know what I can kind of gather so far is it's sort of like maybe the old telltale kind of choose your own, own adventure games, but with more of a first person feel to it, like a first person, like uh, episodic uh, game to it. But I haven't played a lot of it. It's just enough to get the controls down and get kind of the feel for it. I'm really excited to bring this to you guys. Um, so let's jump in. That dream again. And our person, our character's name is Jane, so we're playing Jane 213. Well, I guess I should get up anyway. I'll go on and read the dialogue. The dialogue isn't a lot. I mean, it does. There are some parts where there's a lot of it, but it's not like super long dialogue. So uh, you can kind of interact with some of the stuff. Now, this game I've had on my wish list and on my list of games to play for a long time. And when I saw that you could play um, episode one on itch.io, uh, I was like, oh, we're doing this. I'm very excited for this game does have some retro style graphics like maybe some ps2 era graphics but it gets good that's from what i've seen so let's go to our phone one missed call oh looks like melissa called me i guess i should call her back hey jane it's been a while yeah it has i hope you've been all right yeah i've been great actually just busy how about you doing all right not dead <laughs> whatever that's good to hear i was beginning to wonder can't get rid of me that easily. Hey, I'm going to be back in town soon. We should hang out. Really? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, Jack actually had an idea where we could go on a little camping trip this weekend. Like old times. Would you be interested? Haha, <laughs> yeah, that could be fun. Great. I'm so excited. I think James is coming too. Really? What's the occasion? It's a secret. Oh, come on. Nope. You'll have to find out. Fine, fine. So I don't know any of the backstory about the people. Like, is that an ex-boyfriend or something like that? Don't know. So uh, I guess now we're heading to the campsite. Somewhere, Ohio. Everything happens in Ohio, right? Uh, someone's being a peeping Tom. Well, we're here. Jack says that. This is the campsite. Yeah, nice, isn't it? I don't know. What do you think? So this is kind of where we can choose. Um, I'm going to say I like it. Yeah, it's cool, I guess. I don't know, maybe it'll grow on me. At least we can have a fire. We used to hang out here near forever ago. I guess you guys didn't come along. Well, we should start getting things set up before it gets dark. And there's James. Chapter 1, Reunion. So this is where we kind of freely roam a little bit. We can kind of check out things. And I don't know that you can really... Can you venture out into the woods? No, you can't. But you can go down the trails and stuff. So... Looks like they're setting up the tents. James is over here by himself just being a creeper. What are you doing? Hey, I'm glad you ended up coming. Well, Melissa wouldn't take uh, no for an answer. But yeah, me too. It's nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Do you need help with anything? It looks like we forgot to buy firewood on the way here. Um, Melissa won't be happy about that. Yeah. There might be still some firewood left over inside a shack that's near here. Do you think you could go grab it? Sure. Uh, it's not too far. Just follow the right path and you'll find it. All right, I see what I can do. Cool. It's going to get dark soon, though you should uh, take this. There's our lantern. Thanks. Try not to get lost. This is telling us we can equip things. So there we go. Let's equip our lantern. So he's telling us to go get... So he's going that way. 
And he wants me to go this way. Where are you going? Why don't you get the firewood? What are you guys doing? Hey, sorry if this didn't meet your expectations. I guess probably you should have chosen the location. Oh, no, it's fine. I'm just glad to see everyone again. Yeah, me too. It'll be fun to hang out once we get everything set up. So just a little dialogue. So what do you think of the place? It's cool, I guess. A bit eerie, though, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> yeah, but that's part of the fun. I guess. Hey, don't worry. Anything comes out to get us, I got this baby with me. He's got a bat. Thanks, Jack. That makes me feel a little better. You know, you can always count on me. Wink. Okay. So... So why did old boy go that way, but he wants me to go this way? I'm going this way. Let's see what old boy's doing. Ooh, that's... Oh. Okay, this got really eerie. There's a trap here. Looks like a cage. What's... What's it all the way out here for? Ooh. What's, what's that up there? Can't, I can't go that way. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, there's a cave. Uh, the board seems sturdy. Guess they really don't want anybody inside. Um, not that I want to anyway. Okay, that's bad creepy. Hey! There he is. Yeah, what are you doing, old boy? You turn your lantern off, trying to be all sneaky? Hey, get that firewood wet. Uh, what are you doing out here? Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking for some kindling to get the fire started. Really. I also wanted to check out the cave. Huh. I, I don't understand. Why can't he get the firewood, huh? All right, whatever. Let's just go down this path, I guess. Okay, so here... Oh, um... Ooh. Creepy, isn't it? <laughs> you, you are creepy, man. Uh, James, you scared me. Oh, sorry, haha. -ha. What were you saying? The house. You can see it from here. This is a little creepy. I guess it's pretty creepy. Anyway, it's getting dark soon. Be sure to get... Be sure not to get lost out here. Yeah, I mean... You should definitely not come with me, because... Yeah, you're creepy. Can't, can't help the girl out, I guess. Um. Oh, what do we got? A shack key. Can I pick up that? I can't pick that up. Okay. So we have a shack key now. Flip over the tire. Nothing's there. Okay. We can't go down to the house yet. Looks like it. It's blocked off. Okay. I'm assuming that we were supposed to go the other way and probably find the shack first, and then we have to come up here and get the key. It's probably what they wanted us to do, but... Um, we'll go this way. Like I said, we got to see what old boy was doing. Here's an outhouse. It said they stalked the woods at night, forever starving, forever in pain, aching to fill their empty stomachs, to feast on meat and organs, and once you hear their scratches echoing through the trees, it's already too late. Ooh. All right. Well, this must be the shack. Ooh, nice place. A little well outside. He's watching you. Oh, okay. That works. E, X, E, and B. Fear the moon. Accidentally locked the shed on my way out. Oops, or whoops. I think the key should be somewhere in the abandoned vehicle on the cliff. Also, I think something might have died in there. Place reeks. Interesting. Okay, we're going to use our shack key here. Oh, if I open it. Crouch. I mean, it crouch that much. So there's our firewood. Yeah, something died. It's gotten pretty dark. I should head back. Something died there. Can't do anything with the spray. Ooh. All right. 
Creepy place. Whoa! Okay. Nothing in there? What's behind the... Uh, can I go behind the shed? Uh, looks like you can. It's all blocked off. And maybe you can eventually in the full game. I don't know. This is just like chapter one. So, like I said, sort of the demo. Whoa. What is that? Dude, there is something making some noise. Oh, look. There's ice. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. oh, this has do you copy vibes big time. Big. Ah. Big time do you copy vibes. Oh, there's the eyes again right there. See him? Big time do you copy vibes. Oh, I like this. All right. Here's the firewood. Hey, are you okay? You look like you saw a ghost. I, I heard something weird in the woods. Oh, what did it sound like? I don't know, like a wolf or something. Huh, that's, that's strange. There shouldn't be any wolves around here. Maybe it was the wolf man. Come on now, Jack. Don't be ridiculous. What? He could be real. You know the stories, too. Yeah, I do, and it's made up. What's the wolf man? That's what I asked. Just a bit of an urban legend around here. I swear I saw him in the woods one time after a party. And how many drinks did he have after that night? I don't know. <laughs> a few. Uh-huh. I really did see something, though. It was tall and had three bright yellow eyes. Had how oh, I had these bright yellow eyes. That's kind of what I saw. Is that why you chose this place, Jack? Maybe. I can't believe you. I'm sure it was probably nothing. Just freaked me out a little bit is all. Can we get this fire started now? It's getting cold out here. Yeah, I'm ready to relax. Fine, I'll get it started. Well, that was easy. I wish my fire started that easy. Everybody puts their hands out except for me. Look at me, I'm like, nah. I'm a little freaked out by the wolf man. Jane, what are you looking at? Uh, oh, sorry. It's just, it's a full moon tonight. So it is. Sure is pretty, huh? Yeah. Well, when you're done admiring it, come get your food. It's getting cold. Okay, cool. Thanks. Okay, there's the food here. Looks like we need a bowl. There's our bowl. Over here chugging beers. Do I get a beer, too? Who's got the beer? Probably in the cooler, I guess, huh? There's a... Bag of something. Okay, let's go get our food. Get our bowl. Equip. Yum! Gross slurp noises. <laughs> At least they don't make the noises. Like in Seven Days to Die, you hear the, the, the noises. Uh-oh. Well, I guess it's not one of the people. It's not... I was kind of thinking it was the other guy, the guy being weird, but... I mean, he was just seen by the Wolfman, so... So, do you guys want to hear the legend of the Wolfman? Oh great, this again. Hey, I know I can be obsessed with the cryptid stuff sometimes, but this one is really creepy. Okay, sure. 
What is the Wolfman? Okay, so it's an urban legend out here about the man that used to own this property. He disappeared a long time ago, and there's stories that he never actually left. And instead turned into a wolfman that lurks the woods, attacking and eating animals, even humans. That sounds silly. Actually, it's more twisted than that. He had a sort of an animal sanctuary out here with lots of dogs he would take in and take care of. And he lived completely alone inside from the animals. Oh, lived completely alone aside from the animals. So when he disappeared, no one knew he was gone for a long time. When someone finally came out to check on him, they found something very terrible inside the house. All the animals had starved to death, locked inside roofs and cages, scratched and blood all over the walls and doors. Oh my god, that's awful. Yeah, and that's not even the worst part. They say some of the animals had even started eating each other. But really, it's just stories they told to try to keep kids from coming out here and underage drinking. Plus, with all the parties that used to happen out here, stories were bound to made up to be made up from the things people thought they saw or heard. There's even been a few missing persons out here. Yeah, that's really why people don't come out here anymore. Cops really started cracking down on the place after that. So why are we out here? For old times' sake, plus all the danger makes it exciting. You wouldn't want to hang out here out of any old campground, would you? It's okay. The most dangerous thing out here is deer and bobcats. Deer are dangerous? Okay. Oh, and Jack here. Dangerously handsome. Ooh. Are there any eyes watching us? I don't see anything. Yeah, I guess we're going to stand up. It's been nice catching up, but I think I'm going to head to sleep. Yeah, same. Today has been ha has me beat. Wait, before you guys go, Jack and I have something to tell you. Oh, what is it? Well, I guess I'll just say it. We're getting married. Oh, that's uh cool. Okay, James, I guess, has a thing for her. Yep, finally decided to tie the knot. Wow, I'm happy for you guys. Thank you. Okay, that was a little awkward. Guess an uh, old boy has something for her, huh? Yep. Yeah, you're a little pissed off. You guys go ahead. Jack and I are going to hang out for a little longer, I think. You can take the tent. I'll be sleeping in the van. Oh, you don't want to join the tent with me, old boy? What if I, what if I get cold? What do you, I can't talk to these guys. Will it let me go out? It will. I shouldn't wander too far. Oh, okay. I was going to see if it let me wander the trails. Can I get a beer? No? No beer for me? Okay, which one's, uh, enter tent. Oh, boy. Uh, oh! Okay, so they're going out. Are they in the old shed? Studying for an exam? <laughs> okay, so they went to the shed. That's what we know. It's had to feel like an old 80s movie, like the 80s Wolfman movies. Oh! A scream? Did this hear a scream? It sounded like it came from that old shack. I should make sure everyone's okay. Oh, I'm outside the tent already. Okay. Hello? No one there. Uh, do I have my lantern? I don't have my lantern. Can I pick up the lantern? Okay, we have a lantern. Can I take a, like a knife or something? No? Yeah, I guess we're going unarmed. All right. Let's go to the shack. Uh, what are we going to find in here? Can we look through the windows? Uh, 
Okay, so she's in there. There's the baseball bat. Got some blood. Jane! What happened here? I don't know. Me and Jack were just out here messing around and something attacked us. It all happened so fast, I couldn't really tell what was happening. But I think Jack is hurt. Like, really hurt. But this thing, it was so big and fast, it just picked him up and took him away like it was nothing. I think we have to get out of here. I don't know if we can help him. At least, not on our own. Okay. Well, oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Yeah, we need to get out of here. We need to get to the van. But Jack had the keys. I think he dropped them in here somewhere. We have to find them. Okay. Can I pick up the bat? Yes, I can. Um, let's equip the bat. So we hit number two. Do I have the bat now? Uh, hold right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's how we hit. Okay. So we need to find the keys. Oh, there they are. Okay, I have the keys. Do I need to talk to you again? Hey, I found the van keys. Let's get out of here. Thank God. Okay, let's go. Oh! Jack, is that you? Are you alive? I, I think he's alive if he's screaming. Whoa! Where's he going? Let me... Bro! I have to get out of here. Oh, dude! That was cool! Uh, let's put the... Let's grab the bat. Man, the Wolfman's hungry. All in chapter one, too. He strikes early. Okay, we're at the van, so that dude's in here, I'm guessing. Unlock uh, van keys. Uh, start the car with the van keys. And I guess I need to reverse. What did I hit? Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God! Whoa! Dude! Oh, he's biting my arm! Did I just die? Oh, I'm being carried off to his lair. Oh, back to the house. Chapter one in. Thanks for playing. If you like to consider wishlisting, I'm a solo dev, so it helps out a ton. So he's a solo dev. Wishlist this on Steam. If you guys like this, it does help the devs out a ton. It really does. So wishlist it. If you guys want to play this, chapter one, it's on itch.io for free right now if you want to play chapter one. And then May 7th, which is just... Around the corner, this thing drops on Steam. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. This was a blast. I really hope you guys enjoy this. I'm looking forward to playing the other episodes. So uh, maybe I'll get in contact with Johnny's Games and see if we can uh, get the other episodes. So thanks, guys. I will see you guys later. Bye.